How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at the block place and block break events and now there's a lot of cool things you can do with this so I'm actually really excited for this video. Also, be sure to stick around and make sure not to jump around the video, or you could miss something and your code could get messed up. Additionally, everything in this video will be available for you on GitHub, so make sure to go follow me on there. And if you find yourself running into any issues or anything like that, you can check your code with mine. And let's get started. So block place and block, block break events are pretty self-explanatory. Um, so what we can do here again is event, at event handler, and make sure it's uppercase E, uppercase H, public void on break so we're gonna do block break event event and then we're going to import everything and then we're going to get the block so the um, block block equals event dot get block so it's gonna return block is now going to return to us all the information that goes to a block or it goes to the block that was um, broken so now this is for the whole world. It's not just for the players anymore. So we're not, or well, it's only focused on uh, obviously the players who are breaking blocks and not somebody like Enderman or Creepers or anything like that. It's only talking about like physical breaks. And now this is for every block in the server, not just the ones that I myself am breaking, but everyone else, right? So we can now do, um, so then we can go, we can get the player, right? Player, player equals event dot get player and then we will import player and now we're going to want to do is we are just going to send the player a simple message for what block they broke so we're going to send message so we're going to say chat color dot gold just because i really like gold you broke and then we're going to say plus so we're going to do uh, space here because we gotta make sure we add spaces or else there won't be spaces in the actual uh, chat and then we're gonna go aqua plus block dot get oops we don't need this in quotes because it's already it's a method dot get uh, type and then we're going to so two string dot two uppercase now this is just, I do this just so it just stays really clean um, and just stays consistent so now what we're going to do is if we let's uh, let's get a bunch of game mode one. Let's get a bunch of let's get ice blocks here just because they're simple. So uh, you broke ice. You broke ice. And now if we get stone here, um, you broke stone. Uh, you broke diamond block. And now again, it's it's really really simple. But now you guys are understanding how the block break event works. And what we can do now is we can actually get we can actually send the player a message to where uh, the location is here, right? So we're gonna want to create a new location. Location equals uh, block dot get location. So now we are now we're setting the location of this block to um, this variable called lock, or we can actually say b lock. Uh, I don't know if you can use underscores. Yeah, you can. Okay, b underscore lock. That's what we're gonna call it, right? So now we can actually send the player another message here. Um, and we're going to do it a really cheap way real quick, just, just for the sake of this. Um, and we're going to go plus quotes at. And we're going to go plus again here. Shout color dot gold. And we're going to control. We can't control shift that yet. Because there's nothing here um, so let's just do this so we can control shift it control shift it so it's gonna just bring it down here uh, but we're actually gonna bring that back up here so now we're going to say uh, B lock B underscore lock and we need to just add text in here or well quotes because it needs a string and that's just gonna keep doing that every time I do that um, and now we're gonna export this and now what it's going to do is now it's gonna tell us um, 
where 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 we broke it. But now we have all this extra crap here that we don't really want, right? So we're going to say. Uh, so uh, we're actually going to have a new line here, and we're going to say. Uh, actually, no, we're going to get rid of this line. We're going to end this one up here, and we're going to say location. And then we're going to just skip that here. We're going to add a new one here. So we're going to need the world X, Y, Z. And we're going to say world X, Y, Z. And we're going to give these the color of blue just because uh, I want to I want to differentiate them from everything else here. And we'll give this one the color of uh, dark blue. And then we're going to add a plus. We're going to do check color dot white just for the simplicity of it. B underscore lock dot get world dot get name for this one for the world. And now for X is going to be uh, we're just going to copy this chat color into all of this just for speed. And then we're going to say b underscore lock dot get block x. And again, we're just going to copy this for speed's sake and change that to y, not x, y, change that to y, and change that to z. And now if we export this, it's going to give us a nice little chat there um, of what is actually happening. Um, but I don't really like that dark, that dark blue. So we're actually going to give these spaces here so that we it's their spaces here. So we're actually going to change this to uh, we're going to change this one back to gold. Uh, I like I think the gold will will be a, a better a better look. So now we can see there. So you broke ice location world negative seven fifty seven thirteen and this is going to be obviously different for every block that you break. And again, this is going to be really useful for when if you're maybe creating an anti um, grief plugin or anything like that you can do this and now the same thing really applies with the we're just going to copy all of this with the block place event and now we can just change this to on place in block place event and now really everything inside of here is going to be the exact same thing um, we really don't have to change any of the code that's inside of there right uh, well we want to say you placed and we'll change this to uh, blue and we'll just switch all these ones around to, uh, to to gold just so we can have the, the difference there dot gold there we go we'll change that change that and change that just so we can have something a little different up here uh, and we'll also change this one in here to light purple which is basically more or less pink and here we go. And so now, when we place event, or when we place, and break. So you place diamond block at location world world x negative 17 56 11. And then it's if we broke that same exact block right there. And now, like I said, this is going to be really good if you're creating with an anti grief plugin or anything like that. And now, what you can also do is you can send a message to the whole server if somebody places a certain block, right? So we can say if block dot get type dot get type dot equals material dot tnt right because that's typically what you would uh, call for you can say um, but now we actually have to do something so we can get to our main class we can actually broadcast here right so we need to call for plugin plugin and then we need it to equal the main class right so there's a few ways you can do it this is the way I do it I'm not really sure if it's the best way to do it but I just do uh, that new tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna have to import plugin there, so it recognizes that. So new tutorial, right? So that's the main class there, and then it's gonna give us the option here to import that. And now that's not gonna work. Um, at least it shouldn't, right? So we're gonna show this just so you can see for the purposes of this. Um, you know, we'll do get server dot broadcast message and we're going to say all this here 
uh, minus the player message there. So we're going to say chat color, but we're going to actually say player dot get name plus placed uh, this here. and uh, oh, I need broadcast message. There we go. So now we don't need that there. All right, so now this shouldn't work. As far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't work. So let's reload this. Yep. So you see, there's going to be an arrow here, an error here when we're initializing it because this is not saying us, it's not telling us anything. There's no plugin that this is equal to, so we need to go dot tutorial dot class. And... Oops. Did I do this wrong? I think I might have done this one. Oh, I don't think I need tutorial dot get plugin. Sorry, you don't need new tutorial dot class. There we go. And so now it's going to register it as being the main class or the plugin class, and now the tutorial is enabled. And now we're we're just getting an error because it's just this one item down here, um, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, so if Oops, I need to get TNT, TNT. So now if, where did TNT go? So now if we get TNT, so you place TNT, but it's not broadcasting the message here. Oh, so so you see what happened here is when I did the automatic import here, it imported the wrong material. Um, so I just did the control shift import and imported the Minecraft, or just like the regular uh, Minecraft material, but we need the bucket material. So be sure, we, be sure to watch out for things like that. And now you can see here, we can see there's our broadcast message there. So um, if you use a place TNT, uh, but we can change this to um, to be whatever color we want it to be, right? So let's just say we want it to be to be green, so everybody sees this message, right? And we can also add like um, some cool, not really cool, but we can add like you know something like this. So we don't need, probably need that many. Um, we can add something like that, so that way it kind of stands out, or whatever sort of method you have for your server, right? Um, so we can have that. So, Malinky Music Place TNT, and now this could be good, like I said, if you are basically trying to tell everybody on the server something that a player did, and maybe you can get the location too. And now we can actually see here in our console, since we did a broadcast message, it's going to show color as well um, there, which again is very helpful when you're trying to just look at your code. Um, but that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Uh, also, be sure to join us next time where we're actually going to talk about configuration files, and we're going to show. I'm going to show you how to write um, these events to a configuration file. Maybe not both of them, but maybe just one of them, because like I said, they're pretty much the exact same thing. And make sure to comment your thoughts, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and tweet at me at the underscore source underscore code, or tweet at the hashtag TSC coding to share your projects or if you need help troubleshooting yours. And lastly, make sure to follow me on GitHub for all the project files and any updates that I might have for those project files. And thanks for watching.